Hi, this is Sandy from Mark and Sandy Emotion, and we're going to do a video on our top five things that we like to do with Disney. Number one is definitely Pixar Pals Motorcade at Hollywood Studios. We really like the fact that it runs about every half hour. The motorcade starts at the entrance of the park, down Hollywood Boulevard, past Center Stage and Echo Lake. It features Edna, Emode from The Incredibles, and Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, each riding in their own cars. And walking, you'll see Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Woody, and Jesse. From Monsters, you'll also see J.P. Sullivan, also known as Sully. Oh, and how can I forget the Green Army men marching and drumming? I love this part of the cavalcade. Maybe the Pixar Pals cavalcade is my number one thing to do at Disney because I just love Toy Story. I have fond memories of seeing it the first time. Kinda like the first time we saw Star Wars. Sometimes I wish Buzz Lightyear would get out of his car and run around. That's our first favorite thing to do at Disney. Riding the monorail is our second favorite thing to do at Disney World. It's more than a form of transportation actually, it's an attraction. Can you take the monorail for a round trip ride just for fun? Yes you can. The monorail runs on three loops. The Epcot loop. This loop runs from the Transportation and Ticket Center directly to Epcot. It's really cool because it takes you through Epcot with some great views of the park. The Express Loop. This loop runs directly from the Transportation and Ticket Center to the Magic Kingdom with no stops. Today we thought we might take the ferry boat, but we missed it. We travel by car. We travel by bus. It's pulling away. I'm not waiting for another one. I'll back up, get on the monorail. We just missed it. Wait! <laughs> Jump. Don't you know who we are? <laughs> the resort loop. This loop runs clockwise, stopping at the Magic Kingdom, Contemporary Resort, Transportation and Ticket Center, the Polynesian Resort, and the Grand Floridian Resort. Our third favorite thing to do is spend time relaxing. Sandy and I are Disney Vacation Club members, and our home resort is Saratoga Springs Resort. In our opinion, it's a good idea to plan at least one day to just kick back and relax. Hang out by the pool or just sit on the bench and look at the beautiful lake. We do spend a good amount of time just sitting on the balcony having a cup of coffee in the morning. For us, it's usually the third day that we're there. The first two days are pretty crazy. By the third day, I could just rest those legs and my feet. But the Disney resorts are so beautiful and they have a lot to offer. If you're so inclined, you can even go resort hopping. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like park hopping. And you get to check out what some of the other resorts have to offer. Years ago, we went resort hopping and stopped at Old Key West Resort. And it became our favorite. But the last few years, we've been staying at Saratoga Springs the most. We love it there. It has a beautiful view of Lake Buena Vista, and it's a short walk to Disney Springs. We can share a little tip with you that we've been doing for years. We call early in the morning on the way to the resort and request a lake view. Never get tired of this view. Never. They can't guarantee you a view of the lake, but it's helped us the last four or five years. This is a view from our room. Honestly, some days I think I could spend the whole day here. Our fourth favorite thing to do at Disney is ride the Disney Skyliner. Travel by aerial gondola at Walt Disney World Resort on whimsically themed gondolas. Yeah, I read that from their website, but it states it perfectly. And it's an incredible way to travel around Walt Disney World. Some of the gondolas are adorned with Disney characters, others with Disney attractions and film favorites. The nearly 300 gondolas feature onboard audio, which is unique to every route. They're not air conditioned, but the reflective panel avoid direct sunlight and cross ventilation windows allow airflow. We've been on the gondolas in the middle of the summer and it was quite comfortable. Each gondola has wooden bench style seating that fits a maximum of 10 people. Also there's enough room for strollers to roll out without having to fold them up. The Disney Skyliner transportation system connects four Walt Disney Resort hotels to both Epcot and Disney Hollywood Studios. Disney's Caribbean Resort is at the center with a hub that's designed to reflect the Caribbean Open Air Village Marketplace. It also connects you to Disney's Riviera Resort, Disney's Pop Century Resort, 
and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. This is a view from my favorite spot at Epcot, the French Pavilion. Just looking up at the gondolas going by is mesmerizing. It's so beautiful and it's so well done. I remember the first time hearing about Disney Skyliner and the plans they had for all these gondolas. I'll be honest with you, I wasn't a big fan. But after seeing it built and riding on the gondolas and just looking up at them, I love it. There's a reason why they call it the most magical flight on earth. You ever watch the CBS morning show where they just play nature and you listen to the sounds? Yeah, just listen to this. Disney in motion. Love it. Hustle and bustle of Disney. Our number five favorite thing to do is going on the Haunted Mansion ride. On this particular summer day, it was storming out, and while we were on the ride, the lights went on. Check this out. make our own noise. <laughs> oh, Please I never, come back. I never saw that act. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Those two. Interesting. That was the haunted mansion with all the lights out and stuff. It was kind of cool. Yeah, it was pretty neat. At the cemetery, that's cool. Well, it must be the pet cemetery. The poodle up there in the back. 
I never get tired of Saratoga Springs. I mean, I could just sit here and walk around and stare at all the... I never the, get tired of any of the resorts. The it's colors, so though. beautiful, and the colors, mm -hmm. and, you know, especially Old Key West and Saratoga. I think those are my favorite relaxing all-time resorts. Mm -hmm. We still haven't hit the French Quarter and Port Orleans, which we will definitely next time we come up here, whether we just get to drive through or not, we will definitely check them out next time. But uh, for the most part, all the other ones we've been to, they all have their own specialness to them that, that makes you say, oh, wow, this is my favorite one, until you get to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mark and Sandy's five favorite things to do at Disney. Our next video is going to be five fun facts. Come along. See you real soon. <laughs> Gross.